The governors of nine U.S. states said Monday they had begun planning for the slow reopening of their economies amid signs the worst of the coronavirus pandemic had passed. But here's the rub. President Trump said that's his call, not theirs. In a tweet Monday, Trump said easing restrictions is, quote, the decision of the president and for many good reasons, later saying in a press conference that he will dictate plans to governors. We will soon finalize new and very important guidelines to give governors the information they need to start safely opening their states. But the governors of six northeast states on Monday, New York, New Jersey and Rhode Island among them, had said earlier in the day that they were working on their own coordinated effort to slowly reopen their economies. Many of them seeing a hypocrisy in Trump's decree, such as Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf, who spoke on the phone during a press conference moderated by New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. Well, seeing as how we had the responsibility for closing the state down, I think we probably have the primary responsibility for opening it up. Governor Wolf's point was right. He left it to the states to close down. And that was a state-by-state -state decision. Without any guidance, really, he took the position that it was a state's decision. The governors of California, Oregon, and Washington also said they had reached an agreement on a shared approach to restarting businesses. Like their East Coast counterparts, they gave no firm timeline and said they would be guided first by the health of their residents. Legal experts say a U.S. president has limited power under the Constitution to order citizens back to work or cities to reopen government buildings, transportation or local businesses. Many officials have said a reopening of the economy may hinge on more widespread testing, something Cuomo said states can't do alone without the help of the federal government. Trump, who was up for re-election in November, has seen the country slide into what many economists call a recession, with staggering unemployment numbers due to a virtual lockdown of the country. His administration has signaled May 1st as a potential target date for reopening the country, but health officials warn that lifting stay-at-home restrictions too early could reignite the outbreak.